there are largely two theories that we use to explain the behavior and properties of acids and bases. The first of these is the Arrhenius theory that is used specifically for acids and bases in aqueous solutions. So the Arrhenius theory defines an acid as any substance that produces hydrogen or hydronium ions in water. We know that this happens through the process called ionization, where we start here with nitric acid. It reacts with water in a two-step process that we know the first step is dissociation and the second step is then the reaction with water but ultimately the result is that we form aqueous hydronium ions and nitrate ions in solution. So as we can see an Arrhenius acid has produced hydronium ions therefore HNO3 is an Arrhenius acid. By the similar definition, we say that an Arrhenius base is a substance that produces hydroxide ions in water. So if we take one of our common strong bases and we place that in water, we know that when potassium hydroxide is placed in water, it will dissociate. And dissociation, we know, is a simple reaction, or not a reaction, but where a compound breaks into its constituent ions to produce potassium ions and hydroxide ions both in aqueous solution. So the Arrhenius theory is specifically aimed at explaining the properties and behavior of aqueous solutions of acids and bases. An Arrhenius acid is any substance that produces hydrogen or hydronium ions in water and an Arrhenius base is any substance that produces hydroxide ions in water.